welcome back to the class guys i have a kind of feelings that i am getting some complaints from you the complaint is that mr kiran tor network is bit slow we are unable to find very good proxies on the proxy free websites that are providing proxy service list and we are unable to select proper proxies because some proxies have very good uptime but their speed is slow some are very good at anonymous again the speed or the connection is slow a kind of complaints uh, you want to ask or you may be writing in the comment section of this course obviously it is proxy servers are very slow connections are very slow and it will be very irritating when you actually use either a tor network or a tor service tor browser or chain of proxies when you are actually working or trying to hide your uh, pc or trying to be anonymous on network so do you have any alternative yes i do have alternative and the tool is anon surf basically it is a repository that you need to install on kali linux if you are using parrot operating system it comes by default and you can install on ubuntu as well and even this tool anon surf will use tor network so obviously slow connections are inevitable and you have to get used to it so what is anon surf anon surf is a tool or a script that is actually developed by team of members at parrotsec and that is the reason if you install parrot os this tool anon surf comes by default or is installed by default and this script was actually made for making your system completely anonymous so system wide anonymity is the purpose or main functionality of this system however there is no guarantee that 100% anonymity is possible so according to this tool anon surf system wide anonymity is uh, achieved and this tool not only routes all your traffic through tor network but it also lets you to you know use ip2 tables so that you can erase any traces on your disk so what is i2p table or what is i2p i2p is invisible internet project i have already uh, opened the website get i2p.net here you can read much about i2p so as you can see i2p is invisible internet project is a fully encrypted private network layer it protects your activity and location everyday people use network to connect to people without being very tracked and so on so you can read much about i2p in this page so asset anon surf uses i2p tables in order to erase any traces on your disk hence it is considered as one of the best tool that you can use to have anonymity on internet so let's start working on this tool so let's start working on this tool let me open the browser let me maximize the screen and let me type download anon surf from github so it is a repository that you need to download and install the repository as you can see you can either download the zip file or you can just copy the link open terminal open the terminal and git clone is the command to download the repository and now you can paste the link that you have copied hit enter wd home kiran tirukola so ls and as you can see kali anon surf is a folder in which you have to move kali and if you type ls again you have installer.sh is a file that is used to install this repository and in order to install let me clear the screen first you can simply type sudo dot forward slash and the name of the file that is installer.sh and and now you are asked to type the root password type the root password great pass and hit enter and let me wait till the installation gets finished it's going to take 11 minutes as an estimated time to finish this installation because you have to download the packages as you can see now the installation of the tool anon surf is now complete so when you type anon surf s u r f 
and hit enter as you can see over here this is unknown surf and unknown surf comes by default with parrot operating system and you can use start stop restart change in status with unknown surf command in order to start the service to make your system completely anonymous so let me see the status first for that the command is let me clear the screen C L E A clear so guys the screen is clean and let me type unknown surf but wait since this tool unknown surf is developed by parrot operating system let me honor the team who has developed it and let me happily demonstrate you this tool on parrot operating system so let me move to parrot operating system so as you can see guys this is the parrot operating system and if i open the terminal click on the terminal and this is a parrot terminal and let me type unknown surf over here s u r f and if i hit enter as you can see this is unknown surf application or a program version 3.1.8 it's a command line interface and it is developed by mr lorenzo lisetta mr francisco and also extended by mr daniel currently this tool is maintained by nong hong and their respective email addresses uh, but don't email them unnecessarily if you have something very important that you can uh, you know add some extended functionality to this tool as you can see you can use this tool with unknown surf as a command and the options that are listed over here and if you see help unknown surf help a clear and on surf help it is the same content that you have seen earlier so help is not that much useful over here but you can actually type man and on surf and hit enter and this is the man pages or manual pages of this uh, git unknown surf anonymizing toolkit for parrot os operating system usage unknown surf start stop restart change id status my ip and dns description set up tor proxy to route all the traffic through the tor as we have discussed earlier this tool is used to completely anonymize your system using the tor network so it will route all your traffic to the tor network and you can read this description for more details like if you want my ip you can check the current ip of your system and so on so let me type q to exit so now i am out of manual pages and if you want to you know start this service uh, let me clear the screen once again clear and on surf enter so as you can see and on surf strt before that let me check the status if this tool is already running because this is a parrot operating system and it will come by default for that you have to check the status status as you can see over here at the top right corner and on surf is not working at this point i want to remind you that when you are using proxy chain application you have to actually run the tor service manually for that the command was service tor start and to stop the tor you have to give the command service tor stop and when you are checking the status of tor network the command was service tor status similarly you have given on on surf status over here but when you are using proxy chain you have to always mention proxy chains in front of the command say for example pro x y c h a i and proxy chains then if you are using nmap tool or if you are using a firefox you have to always mention this uh, you have to always mention this proxy chains you have to append uh, this proxy chains text to whatever the application you are using but the beauty of this application on on surf is that you don't need to do this once you have already started the service so let me start the service because as you have seen that when you have given the unknown surf status the unknown surf was not working so as you can see again over here unknown surf is not running so unknown surf now let me start start before starting let me also show you one thing let me open the browser so the firefox is started and let me open the website what is my ip address.com what is my ip address.com as you can see this is my ip address 183 83 162 and 17 let me also open google website google.com so as you can see we have a google india page opened over here and google is offered in indian languages hindi and so on 
now when i actually start this service on on surf hit enter do you want to kill the dangerous application basically uh, on on surf actually kills all your browser activity click yes and error while trying to kill the application you have to mention the password and as you can see over here top right corner you are now under tor network start on on surf demo is success so you are now with a tor network so let me clear the screen over here and let me minimize this window drag aside over here and now if i again refresh this google website i should be pointing to different countries google page say for example see the indian languages are now missing and let me also refresh the website what is my ip address.com i should get different ip address over here so meanwhile let me type as you can see 8958192 so let me also type an on surf an on surf and my ip to check my ip address it is an option that you give with an on surf to check the public ip address so getting the data from the server right top corner over here it is 185220102 and 248 so these two ips are different so let me repeat this process for couple of times to show you why these two ips are different let me open google and my location my location enter uh, we have an error that is all already expected so maybe if i refresh two three times i should get a suspicious activity revealing my ip address so it is not happening so let me type google.com again and let me refresh this page once again refresh let me also open another website my ip.com so here before actually hitting enter on my keyboard let me uh, go to the terminal para terminal and repeat the command anon surf my ip hit enter and again now i will actually type my ip.com see when i hit enter here on terminal the ip is 185220102 and 248 but in this website the ip address is 45 154 168 and 39 we are actually getting different ip address repeatedly again i have hit enter again my ip address is 18522201248 we are seeing this different ips when i have executed the command in terminal as well as in the browser because this tool anon surf not only uh, routes your traffic through a circuit based routing on a tor network but it will also do a packet based routing of ip2 so we will get different ips when we are using different terminals or different uh, applications like whether it is a browser or if you are using n maps so different tor circuits are used based on the circuit based routing as well as a packet based routing so this is why it is considered as one of the best tools for anonymity service so let me now uh, close this window close this window and if i type on on surf and hit enter so these are all the option as you have already seen help start stop is an option with on on surf that is used to stop the tor proxy and return to the clean net and restart is a combination of both start and stop as you have already seen change id is an option that is used to change your identity on the tor network randomly status that you have already seen my ip that is used to display your public ip address or check your public ip address now this anon surf application can be enabled to start at the boot so whenever you boot the your operating system that is parrot operating system in this case the anon surf will automatically start okay and in order to enable this boot you can give the option enable boot with anon surf as an option and if you want to check the status after you have booted this is the option status hyphen boot you have to give the anon surf and you can disable the boot option so let me check the status once again st a t a t u s so as you can see the status uh, we have a bandwidth information for upload and download for the download and upload so let me keep this window minimized and let me now open the new window new terminal window type anon surf hit enter and if you want to enable a boot option if you want to enable this application at boot the option is on on surf enable boot hyphen boot and hit enter you have to give the root password and when you now restart your computer 
as you can see over here enable on on surf at boot is success so when you actually boot this system every time when you access any service on internet whether you visit a website or whether you're doing a map scanning or whether you are doing a ping test your system is completely anonymized and now this application also comes with a GUI that is graphical user interface if you go to the applications under privacy you have anon surf anon surf GUI that is graphical user interface start anon surf stop anon surf change the exit node okay so let me do that over here in the terminal anon surf and change id is the option copy so change id when you actually give anon surf with change id it will change your id as you can see over here you have a new identity now if i type again anon surf my ip you will see a different ip getting data from the server and your IP address is 199, 195, 250 and 77. You can go to whatismyipaddress.com to check the location of this IP address or exit node of a torrent circuit. Let me go to the graphical user interface GUI and click on GUI on on serve. As you can see over here, this is a pretty small but have very good functionality. You can restart the Tor service. This is the option. So it has a graphical user interface. Now if I click on the restart, you have to type your root password enter now if I again uh, let me okay now uh, non surf is now running now if I click on my IP this is this option so my IP button is equal to the option of my IP on the terminal so let me click on my IP getting data from the server and 180 220.101.170 and the other option is stop change identity details so click on the details you will see server is activated ports activated dns activated enable at boot is also activated you can click on disable if you want to disable this option enable at boot now let me go back change identity you have already seen restart and tor status now you will see the same exactly now you will see the same details of tor bandwidth so guys now let me type curl and check ip dyndns.org so let me check the ip once again using the curl as your ip is 185 220 101 and 142 i think that is the same ip that we have displayed over here in the earlier command when i executed announce of my ip so now let me also run nmap command to scan my website so I don't need to give an answer command in order to do the nmap scanning in the proxy chain application you have to give proxy chains then you have to give the command nmap but here you don't need to do that simply you can type nmap and give some port numbers 21 let me give 80 443 fine and my website name and hit enter so you will get the result in map scan result so port 2180 and 443 all the three ports are open on this web server so that's it about this very powerful unknown surf tool it is very simple and very powerful tool that makes your system completely anonymous and when I say completely anonymous, it is not guaranteed. Nothing is 100% anonymous on internet. So please keep that in mind. And this is all about this tool. So meet you in the next class, guys. Have a great day.